are you in search of the top activities to experience in Curacao? Look no further. This tropical destination in the Dutch Caribbean offers a plethora of stunning beaches, breathtaking natural attractions, significant historical sites, and a lively, vibrant capital known as Willemstad. Situated roughly 40 miles away from the Venezuelan coast, Curacao forms a part of the ABC Islands, which also include Aruba and Bonaire. In Curacao, you will discover not only exclusive activities that cannot be found anywhere else in the Caribbean or the world, but also a distinctive landscape. This Caribbean island is adorned with cacti, limestone plateaus, and a rugged coastline where you can witness breathtaking shades of blue water, vibrant marine life, and thriving coral reefs teeming with tropical fish. From a historical perspective, Curaçao was colonized by the Dutch in the 17th century. As a result, Dutch influences can be found in every nook and cranny of the island, from its sites and attractions to its culinary scene. African and Caribbean influences also add to the rich cultural tapestry. In places like Willemstad, one can't help but feel like they are in a tropical European city situated in the heart of the Caribbean. When it comes to exploring Curacao, there is no shortage of remarkable things to do. From discovering the best attractions in Willemstad to venturing out to the various beaches and natural and historic sites around the island, you will be spoiled for choice. Let's delve into some of the most unique and unforgettable experiences Curacao has to offer, ensuring that your vacation is truly memorable. Tips for visiting Curacao attractions. If you plan to explore all the popular attractions in Curacao, it is highly recommended to rent a car. Unfortunately, public transportation options are limited. However, if you are a cruise ship visitor, there are still numerous exciting activities near the cruise port in Willemstad. You can easily reach these attractions with a short taxi ride, as mentioned in this comprehensive guide. If you plan on staying in Curaçao for multiple days, it may not be ideal to rely on taxis. Renting a car offers you the greatest flexibility to discover the amazing activities on the island and is also more cost-effective. While beach hopping, it's important to note that many beaches are located on private property and require an entrance fee. These fees are usually just a few dollars, and some beaches also charge for beach chair rentals. However, there are a few beaches that are completely free of charge. Here are some incredible destinations to explore in Curaçao. Number 13. Mambo Beach Yet another captivating expanse of shoreline to explore is the breathtaking Mambo Beach on the southwestern coast. Located just a short car ride away from the synagogue and shopping center in town, its pristine white sands and vibrant azure waters create an idyllic setting for a leisurely afternoon or evening. Compared to many other beaches on the island, Mambo Beach is considerably more developed, boasting a bustling promenade adorned with numerous shops, restaurants, bars and hotels. As a result, there is always a vibrant and festive atmosphere permeating the area, enhanced by the dazzling sunsets, refreshing cocktails, and comfortable hammocks that all contribute to an unforgettable experience. During the day, there are still plenty of exciting activities to partake in. Embark on superb snorkeling or scuba diving excursions that will take you to the nearby reefs. Aside from that, you can also indulge in sunbathing, swimming, or shopping while reveling in the extraordinary scenery that surrounds you. Number 12. Explore Willemstad, the capital city of Curaçao, offers a plethora of activities to explore. It serves as a port for boats and boasts well-preserved historic districts like Pietermai, Punda, and Otrabanda. Take a leisurely stroll through the charming streets of Pietermai, adorned with vibrant buildings, palm trees, and trendy eateries. Punda, the oldest part of Willemstad, showcases stunning examples of Dutch colonial architecture and is a paradise for shoppers with its bustling markets and retail stores. To reach Otrabanda, simply cross the floating Queen Emma Bridge from Punda, but be aware of its opening and closing times for boat traffic. 
This district offers a unique blend of rainbow-colored colonial-era structures and modern developments, creating an enchanting atmosphere. A must-visit attraction in Willemstad is the Mikveh Israel Emanuel Synagogue, one of the oldest synagogues in the Americas. With its sand floors, Dutch-Jewish architectural style and rich history, it provides a glimpse into the island's Jewish heritage. Number 11. Take a day trip to Klein Curaçao. One of the best activities to experience in Curaçao is taking a boat excursion to the uninhabited island of Klein Curaçao, also known as Little Curaçao. Situated approximately a two-hour boat ride away from Curaçao, this stunning attraction can only be visited through organized tours. There are several tour options available and we opted for Miss Anne's boat trips, which departs from Sandals Resort, with hotel shuttles available to the meeting point. This particular tour offers a more luxurious experience as they provide a high-speed yacht that cuts the travel time in half, taking only 60 minutes. In addition, they are the only company that offers private facilities during the day trip to Klein Curacao. These facilities include beach chairs, palapa huts and bathrooms, ensuring your comfort throughout the visit. The tour also includes meals and a guided snorkel safari tour. You can also enhance your experience with add-ons such as scuba diving, massages and access to an open bar. Other tour options include the Bluefin Charters Tour and the Breeze Boat Trips Tour. These tours also provide meals and transport you to the long, picturesque stretch of white, sandy beach on Klein Curacao. Although they have fewer facilities, they still offer Palapa huts on the beach where you can relax in the shade with your beach towel. The island's coral reefs make it a popular destination for snorkeling in Curacao, with cruises providing the necessary gear. However, another great activity in Curacao is snorkeling at various beaches, so we suggest bringing your own equipment, as we did. Additionally, this location is known for its sea turtles, offering the opportunity to swim with them. On the windy side of the island, there is a historic and abandoned pink lighthouse that you can explore, as well as a few shipwrecks. Just remember to bring sun protection and water, as it is a 10-minute walk from the beach. Number 10. Visit the beaches of West Punt. West Punt is home to some of the most stunning beaches. Situated along the western coast, this area features a rugged shoreline adorned with beautiful cliffs, soft white sands, and sparkling turquoise waters. Whether you're interested in swimming alongside turtles, exploring vibrant coral reefs while snorkeling, or simply unwinding on a serene sandy beach, West Punt is undoubtedly one of the top destinations to visit. Beginning from the northernmost point and heading south, Playa Calqui truly captured our hearts. With its crystal clear waters, it offers an ideal spot for snorkeling. Additionally, there is a restaurant and floating docks available, and plenty of shade trees dotting the beach. Playa Forti, nestled at the base of a cliff, is a tranquil beach accessed by a set of steps. On top of the cliffs, there is a restaurant that provides panoramic views of the ocean, a perfect spot to indulge in a delicious meal. Moreover, if you're feeling adventurous, this beach is renowned among cliff divers for its impressive 40-foot jump. Playa Grande is a secluded cove beach where local fishermen bring in their daily catch. If you're seeking an opportunity to see and swim with sea turtles, this is the ultimate destination in Curacao. Number 9. Swim with Sea Turtles If you've never had the opportunity to swim alongside sea turtles, now is your chance. Interacting with these gentle ocean creatures is an unforgettable experience and ranks among the top activities to do in Curacao. There are multiple places where you can encounter sea turtles, but a guaranteed spot is Playa Piscado, also known as Playa Grande. This beach serves as a cleaning station for local fishermen, attracting a multitude of sea turtles. The water is exceptionally clear, and there's even a pier, making it an ideal location for snorkeling and swimming. 
Another location where we spotted sea turtles was Playa Lagan. This protected cove beach is renowned for its calm, transparent waters and abundant marine life, which the turtles find irresistible. It offers excellent conditions for snorkeling or diving alongside these magnificent creatures. Furthermore, Many visitors who venture to climb Curaçao while snorkeling also have the opportunity to encounter sea turtles. Alternatively, if you prefer not to explore independently, you can join a full-day tour from Willemstad. This tour includes a thrilling jeep safari through Curaçao's picturesque deserts, followed by a refreshing swim with sea turtles on the west coast. Number 8. Go Scuba Diving Scuba diving remains a highly sought-after activity in Curacao among tourists due to the breathtaking coral reef that encircles the entire island. Numerous beaches boast exceptional dive centers, such as Playa Santa Cruz and Dai Bui Beach, where visitors can rent equipment and sign up for scuba lessons. For those staying at Lions Dive Beach Resort near Mambo Beach, a comprehensive range of diving services is available, including certification, gear rentals, and guided tours. Additionally, there are multiple pay-dye dive shops scattered along Curacao's southern coast. If you prefer a hassle-free experience without the need for planning, consider booking a scuba diving boat tour that takes you to some of Curacao's finest diving locations. This option caters to divers of all skill levels, ensuring an enjoyable adventure. Number 7. Stroll across the Queen Emma Bridge at sunrise. Connecting the two historic halves of Willemstad is the ever-popular Queen Emma Pontoon Bridge, which spans St. Anna Bay. A delight to amble across, it offers lovely views of all the brightly painted mansions and Dutch-style houses that line the water's edge. Often referred to as the Swinging Old Lady, it was built back in 1888 to join Otrobanda in the west to Punda and Pietermai in the east. Now lined by lit-up arches at night, the floating bridge regularly opens to allow ocean-going vessels in and out of the bay. In total, it stretches over 500 feet in length with historical markers at each end, explaining a bit more about the much-loved landmark. Besides strolling across it, many people sit and grab a coffee at one of the nearby cafes and watch it swing open and shut once or twice. Number 6. Admire the colorful buildings of Willemstad. During your time in Willemstad, make sure to explore the vibrant and colorful buildings. You'll have no trouble finding them, as this lively city is bursting with color. While it's enjoyable to wander and discover the vibrant facades on your own, I will also be creating an Instagram guide to Willemstad soon. This guide will provide you with all the best photo spots, along with useful photography tips. Number 5. Explore off the beaten path on an ATV tour. As previously mentioned, I frequently desire the liberty of an off-road vehicle during our journey. Considering that Curacao possesses some rough landscapes, especially in the northern region of the island, utilizing an ATV would provide us with greater adaptability to venture and explore less traveled routes. Although we did come across numerous hidden treasures, I am confident that we would have discovered even more if I hadn't been concerned about causing damage to our rented car. Fortunately, if you're not comfortable operating an ATV on your own, you have the option of joining a guided tour and simply enjoying the experience. Number 4. Blau Bai, also known as Blue Bay, is a cherished beach in the island nation of Curacao. Located just outside of St. Michel along the west coast, it offers stunning views of the sea and surrounding scenery. What sets Blau Bai apart is its vibrant coral reefs and diverse marine life, making it a popular spot for snorkeling and scuba diving. The beach itself is a picturesque haven with soft white sands that gently curve around a small bay. Palm trees provide welcome shade as visitors relax and enjoy the warm waters. The beach offers panoramic views of the coast and sea, creating a tranquil atmosphere. For those seeking refreshments, Blaubai is equipped with snack bars and restaurants. Visitors can also rent deck chairs and parasols from the nearby Blue Bay Resort. 
Golf enthusiasts will appreciate the resort's pristine golf course, while art lovers can explore the superb sculpture garden located nearby. Number 3. Riffert Village, located at the entrance of St. Anna Bay, is a prime destination for shopping, dining, and entertainment on the island. With a plethora of enticing stores and restaurants to explore, it's no surprise that the expansive waterfront mall is a popular choice for passengers arriving from the nearby cruise ship terminal. Originally serving as a crucial part of Willemstad's defences, the Rift Fort, built in 1828, has undergone various transformations over the years. It has served as a brothel, prison and police station before ultimately transforming into the stylish shopping centre it is today. Along its sturdy coral walls, you'll find numerous upscale dining establishments and unique boutiques, as well as trendy bars and vibrant nightlife venues. In addition to indulging in some exquisite artisan jewellery and savouring a refreshing aperitif, visitors can also ascend to the top of the fort to enjoy breathtaking panoramic views of the city, sea and the historic Otrobanda district. Number 2. Playa Lagan Tucked away amidst two massive rocky headlands on the northwest coast of the island lies the serene and picturesque Playa Lagoon. This idyllic destination is perfect for spending some quality time, thanks to its crystal clear waters and vibrant coral reef that attract a large number of snorkelers and scuba divers. At the base of the towering cliffs that loom overhead, you'll find an array of shimmering fish darting about, accompanied by graceful green sea turtles and occasionally glimpsed elusive squid. With such abundant marine life in the area, it doesn't take long to encounter colourful corals, underwater rock formations and a myriad of fish species. For those who prefer a more relaxed experience, simply lounging on the beach and observing the comings and goings of fishermen is equally enjoyable especially when accompanied by breathtaking sunsets. Along the intimate shoreline, there are snack bars and a dive school with scattered deck chairs and umbrellas for added convenience. Number 2. Handelskade Undoubtedly the most prominent attraction in the capital city, the beautiful Handelskade is located in the historic heart of Willemstad. It is featured on numerous postcards of Curaçao, showcasing its charming collection of vibrant colonial buildings which provide excellent opportunities for photography and sightseeing. With a picturesque view of St. Anna Bay's sparkling waters, these 17th century buildings are instantly recognisable due to their vividly painted colours including yellows, blues, oranges and pinks. Part of the Punda district, the lively waterfront area now houses an array of cafes, restaurants, shops and art galleries. In addition to strolling around and appreciating the pleasant atmosphere and unique architecture, visitors can also enjoy sitting in one of the laid-back cafes and observe the Queen Emma Pontoon Bridge. This location provides convenient access to explore the city centre and visit the main museums and tourist attractions. Number 1. Shete Boca National Park, situated on the northern coast of Curacao, is a protected natural area. Encompassing nearly 500 acres and boasting over 6 miles of coastline, this park is renowned for its striking cliffs and powerful waves. Embarking on a hike through Shete Boca National Park, is a must-do activity in Curaçao. The trails within the park are clearly marked and provide an opportunity to witness diverse vegetation, including brush, desert plants, cacti, and fascinating rock formations. By following the trails, visitors can reach viewpoints at seven different inlets along the coast, where they can observe blowholes and explore sea caves. Among these inlets, Boca Tabla is particularly popular. It features a large sea cave that can be entered to witness the mesmerizing sight of waves crashing against the cave walls. Shetaboka National Park welcomes visitors every day from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., with the last entrance permitted at 4 p.m. For those who prefer not to explore on their own, guided tours are available. These safari tours offer a fantastic opportunity to learn about the park from knowledgeable guides and include convenient hotel pickup.